This is Alan Bush with the financial futures forecast for Tuesday, May 26th. Now, starting out with the stock index futures, we are seeing pressure developing this morning. Some of the weakness linked to comments from Fed Chair Yellen late last week when she indicated that the Fed could raise interest rates later this year if economic conditions warranted. However, the dominant feature for the stock indices, in fact, the dominant influence on all of the financial markets is the apparent lack of progress between Greece and its IMF creditors concerning a repayment plan for the uh, debt that Greece uh, owes the IMF. So that took futures quite a bit lower this morning. Uh, once that situation gets resolved, and it looks like it may be a while yet before that uh, does happen, we may see a sideways to lower market for stock indices. Keep in mind that every single geopolitical event since the major lows were made in March of uh, 2009 were uh, only temporary as far as the pressure that we did see in the indices. Every single time we did see a recovery to new historical highs in some of the indices, especially the Dow and the S&P. So I think I'd give this market a little more room, ultimately, once the Greek situation gets resolved or is put on the back burner, we will see a new move to new historical highs for the Dow and the S&P. Over now in the foreign currencies, the dollar index sharply higher. Of course, it's the inf being influenced by the Greek uh, IMF situation, so flight to quality buying coming into the dollar. Also, we are seeing all of the other major currencies trading lower, in some instances sharply lower for the same reason, especially the euro currency. Also, we are seeing the pound, even though it is lower, closing in on nearly a seven-year high against the euro currency. So a lot of pressure in the uh, euro currency with the, uh, these problems between Greece and the IMF. Uh, I think I'd give these markets a little more room to move. E even the dollar index could trade a little bit higher. Once the Greek situation gets resolved or is less in focus, I think the main trend for the dollar will resume, which is lower. And the commodity currencies, the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar are lower. This d also due to the situation in uh, the Eurozone. With the dollar higher, that put pressure on the uh, commodities that are uh, exported by Canada and Australia, uh, namely and especially crude oil. So with crude oil lower, that hurting the Canadian and the Australian. Temporarily though, I think uh, this is a situation that uh, will not per persist longer term. Still thinking that the commodity currencies will advance and I would not be surprised within the next couple of months to see new highs for the move in both the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar. Now moving over into the interest rate markets, flight to quality buying coming in, especially at the long end of the curve. A little pressure up front with Yellen's uh, rather hawkish comments. However, once the Greek situation gets resolved or becomes uh, less in the news, I think we will see a tendency for the front end to start to firm up. And we do believe that even though Four reports this morning here in the U.S. came in a little bit stronger than expected, which put a little pressure on the front end. Longer term, U.S. economic reports, I believe, will be mostly on the weak side, and that should be supportive to the front end of the curve. And I think that is a trend that is likely to be a long-term trend. So once again, good trading, everyone. And remember, uh, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.